So I wanted to pose the question whether the governor can skip the state of the state address. Uh, governor Newsom in early 2023 announced that he would not be delivering the traditional state of the state address in the California State Assembly chambers in the historic part of our state capital. And this has raised the question with a lot of people whether or not he can do that. And the simple answer is yes. Uh, Article 5, Section 3 of the California Constitution states, the governor shall report to the legislature each calendar year on the condition of the state and may make recommendations. So first, it doesn't specify when the governor shall report to the legislature <clears throat> other than each calendar year, nor does it specify whether it's in writing or verbal. So the language is clear that an annual report must be made to the legislature, but the form that that report takes is not specified. In other words, our state constitution actually doesn't deem whether a written or verbal report is done. Now, to be fair, <clears throat> in using legislative terminology, it's been the custom and practice of California governors the last 50 plus years to address the two houses of the legislature in the assembly chambers. That's the larger one, of course. And this has actually occurred since roughly the time of World War II when governors began supplementing their written report with their speech to the legislature. Now, Governor Newsom plans to comply with Article 5, Section 3 by providing a written report to the legislature. In the second clause of section three, it's permissive whether the governor has to make recommendations. Now, in almost all instances, that has in fact been done and Governor Newsom has said he'll do that as well, going on a statewide tour this week and next. Now, you may recall that Governor Newsom made the traditional state of the state speeches in the assembly chambers the first two years that he was in office. During the pandemic, he gave his third speech inside Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles, and his fourth state of the state speech was actually made from a state agency's auditorium here in downtown Sacramento. So again, the answer is yes, the governor can skip that traditional in-person state of the state. By the way, I think it's interesting to note that in Article 4, Section 22 of the California Constitution, it has a reporting requirement for the four legislative leaders. And what it says is that when they convene the two-year session, as well as at the close of each regular session, the four legislative leaders are required to set forth their goals and objectives for the upcoming session. And then uh, roughly two years later, they have to report on the progress that they made towards meeting those goals and objectives.